What do you have? Well, Hugh goes out on DVD, and we both saw this and both really liked it when it came out. I mean, I thought it was interesting because, the, I, as I said, I thought, and said this briefly in the programme, that it was the one film that used 3D in an interesting way because it was alienating. When it comes to DVD home viewing, I think most people will be watching it in 2D. It is one of those things in which it's the kind of film which you really want your whole family to love and embrace because it's intelligent and it's about the birth of cinema and I think it makes a very, very interesting companion piece to the artist. One of them 3D, high-tech, digimation, all that sort of stuff, you know, live action. The other one, black and white, four by three, but they are both about the birth of cinema and they both take techniques from the 100-year history of cinema, more than that now, obviously, and do something interesting with it. I mean, the fact that you've got Melies, the fact that it's about projection and the cogs and wheels of cinema, and yet it's, you know, there is in the centre of this the idea of a child attempting to reconnect emotionally with the world through the mechanics of this automaton, I think is... It, is, it says something about the magic of cinema, and I really loved it. Also, the Deep Blue Sea, that the, the um, Terence Davis film is out, uh, which is his adaptation of the Terence Rattigan story and Terence Rattigan play. And Terence Davis came on the program, and it was it was true that when I was watching the film, and um, yeah, I think Rachel Weisz is brilliant in it, and I think it does a very good job of the balance between, on the one hand, the joie de vivre and the you know that that thing that, that Terence Davis said about it, it's a film about what love can make you do, and on the other hand, the awful sense of impending. Uh, acceptance of grief and can you stop putting things away while I'm attempting to do it's this? Tidying up. But someone the thing has, I was someone has to tidy up these. Yeah, the thing I was going to say was, Terence Davis is another one of those people like Werner Herzog, who he has a radio perfect voice, and I could just listen to Terence Davis talk about that Rattigan story being about. The you have a radio perfect voice. I could listen to you every Friday for two hours. Every time, every, every time, single. it's always him. And the other bloke, uh, this Sony-nominated best speech radio.